So a few days ago, we ended up getting a report stating from 9to5Mac that the iPhone in general, a lot of iPhones, were some of the best selling smartphones of 2022. Now that is actually a pretty crazy thing when it kind of comes down to it, because when you think about it in these specific areas, for you know an iPhone to be the number one selling, that's amazing. But for it to be almost you know more than almost like 80 to 70 to 80 percent of the top sold iPhones, it's actually pretty insane. But the even craziest thing to me, in my opinion, was that one of the best selling iPhones was the iPhone 12. Now the iPhone 12 came out in 2020, so three years ago as of this point but two years ago as of 2022 which was when this specific report was studied and the fact that that specific iphone was still selling that well and made it to the top 10 list is actually pretty insane but it's even crazier when it's paired that the iphone 12 outsold the iphone 14 the iPhone 14 Pro, and the iPhone SE 3rd generation. The fact that Apple was able to somehow keep the iPhone 12 here, which is great, but the fact that that iPhone is still selling so well is honestly pretty insane to me. So that brings the question, well, why is the iPhone 12 still selling this well? And the main reason for this, there's a few reasons, but the main reason is Apple is still selling this iPhone brand new. So the fact that this is still a brand new iPhone that is being sold currently, and the fact that it was cheaper last year than it was, you know, the year before, makes this iPhone a pretty decent deal. And a lot of people would look at an iPhone 12 and look at an iPhone 13, and they would just go ahead and probably just get their iPhone 12 and just, you know, save some money. But better yet, people would, even up until last year, they would go ahead and look at the iPhone 14, and then they would look at the iPhone 12, and then they would also be like, you know what? You know, I'll just go ahead and buy the iPhone 12. Who cares? It's like almost the same phone. That is exactly, I think, what the process was going on here. And that makes probably the most amount of sense to me. So even though the iPhone 12 isn't the number one, you know, performing phone of all time, it really wasn't even like a crazy big upgrade coming from the iPhone 11, at least with the 11 Pro. You're still selling, you know, fairly well. So what does that mean for the future? Well, the iPhone 12 still being sold this year is probably going to be sold next year too, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But I will tell you, if you're in the market for an iPhone, you cannot go wrong with an iPhone 13, with an iPhone 14, but an iPhone 12 is one of those iPhones that for the value, you know, for how much you're spending, it's probably not even the best value per dollar iPhone, but it is a good value for sure. Another thing to keep in mind was on the lower end, because the iPhone 11 got removed, there's no iPhone 12 mini, the cheapest, you know, newer looking iPhone is the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 mini is there too, but the iPhone 12 was like the newer looking one. It's the only one above the iPhone SE 3, and the 13 mini might be too small for some people. So that's pretty much why the iPhone 12 is still selling pretty well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.